everyone, so I quickly need to address the elephant in the room. I'm sure you guys noticed something different. Yes, I am dressed like a minion. This was an accident. I put on this yellow shirt because I thought it looked stylish and then I thought this was gonna make it super high fashion. And now I look in the monitor and I look like a minion. Genuinely look like a minion. But okay, so in my past videos, you guys have suggested me try some Korean makeup off of Yes Style. So that is what we're doing today. I'm gonna be doing a huge unboxing, and then in a future video, I'm gonna be doing my full face using makeup from this brand. So this is just the unboxing. I really love watching unboxing videos, and I like filming them because I think it shares the excitement of new makeup. So <laughs> I'm excited. So Yes Style is actually a brand that you guys want me to try their clothing as well, and prom dresses hopefully so in the future you will for sure see those videos I'm really excited to see this makeup because Korean and Japanese makeup is so adorable like I don't know what it is they just take way more attention to detail and just like cuteness so I have $500 worth of makeup off of yes style to unbox and I cannot wait this package did not have customs and it took around two weeks to get to me so let's dive in okay so here is the receipt I'm just gonna throw this to the side because I don't remember what I got and I want to be surprised. Okay, so we have like four bundles to go through. I forgot to say, I didn't just get makeup. I also got some skincare stuff and also some like of those tools that are supposed to be like anti-aging and all this. So let's just start with this one. This is so cute. What the heck is this? Let's open this up. It's on the top. It says fairy dust and it's in the shade 02. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is like a loose powder. Oh wow, it's actually kind of like, it's kind of creamy. Okay, that's swatched really super nice, and it's such a small package, but for pigments, I feel like you don't need a lot. Like, I don't know if I've ever actually gone through a full pigment, so I kind of like how it's a little bit smaller. Next thing that I'm pulling out, oh, okay, so here this is. This is like a hair removal thing. It's this little, like, band, and then you're supposed to, like, pull it over your face, and the wire is supposed to catch, like, your hair and rip it out. This is horrifying. Actually, I'm not gonna unbox this. In my makeup tutorial where I use all this stuff, I'll try this on my face firsthand and see if it works. I imagine it being very painful, but okay. Okay, what is this? This is a McQueen New York waterproof eyeliner. This is just a eyeliner. Oh, it's just like a felt tip. Oh, it's nice. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but it feels nice and liquidy. What is this? Okay, this is really cute packaging. This is a Dear Darling tint. This is what I'm talking about. This is attention to detail and cuteness. It's in the shape of a little popsicle thing. Okay, it's supposed to be a tint of some sort. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit watery because it's a tint. It smells like a grape popsicle. Okay, next thing, another really cute packaging. This is a mousse candy tint, and it's in a little candy looking packaging. It smells like peach. I've never said this on my channel, but the smell of peach is so good. Ooh, and it's kind of like a cream lip. Like it's a little bit thicker. Okay, next thing is a buckwheat loose powder skin food. Obviously this is a powder. In my videos I always test if they flash back. They call it skin food. So maybe it's supposed to be really good for your skin. Pretty straightforward on that one. Okay, this is a BB Super Beblish Balm. Original BB Anti-Wrinkle and Whitening. SPF 30. Now I've seen this a lot. And I've always wanted to try it because it looks so cool and I think it's a BB cream, but like check the packaging Once again, I don't know What it says. Wow, it actually is like, oh my goodness This actually feels like Quite thick for a BB cream like it's got good coverage. Do you see that? I brought cotton pads because I knew I was gonna be swatching all this stuff and I was gonna want it off of my hands Ooh, that eyeliner wants to stay on there. 
It's a good sign. Okay, next I had there are these 3D eyelashes fashion eyelashes. Okay, those look pretty good. They look super fluttery. There's some that go longer and then shorter. I like that look where it's like fluttering. Okay, what are you? Peach cotton multi finish powder skin food once again. This is another setting powder. So I got two setting powders from skin food. They're both different though. Okay, this I remember getting so they really sucked me in with this ad. So apparently you, how does this work actually? So it's just this little container and apparently you put a little bit of water and then a squirt of your face wash in it and then you go like this and it's supposed to like bubble up the top. I think maybe we should try it because it's called a bubble maker. So I was interested. Should we try it? I'll go get some water. Be right back. So I put a little bit of my face wash in, which is the Clinique face wash and water. So now let's see. It's making so much bubbles. It's coming out the top. Oh my goodness. It's like frothy in here. I'm gonna put this by my sink and I'm gonna use it to froth up my face wash. So that thing was very exciting. I wasn't sure if it would actually work, but sure enough, it did. Okay, what is this? The Face Blur SPF 33 by Etude House. Okay, by the way, if I pronounce anything wrong, genuinely sorry. I am just gonna try my best to pronounce it. This is a Soothing Pore Hiding Tone Up. Oh, I think it's another like, oh my goodness, what is this? It kind of seems like a primer. Okay, what are you? So this is the ink concealer. So this is obviously concealer. Okay, this is in the shade, I don't know. Oh, it's not a dropper, I thought it would be. Wow, that feels thick. Oh my goodness, it almost feels like mousse-ish. I am so excited to do the full face video. Next thing is I think a foundation, Naked Face Balancing Primer. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Ooh, it's one of those with all the different color beads in it. So I think this will be good because as you guys know, I have a little bit of redness. So lots of these different colored ones will counteract the redness. Oh, I just have to try everything on my hand. That feels so soothing. Oh my goodness, that smells so good. Okay, last two things in the first bag. This is another Skin Food Peach Cotton. So these go together, I think. Ooh, it's just a little powder. Okay, this is the Play 101 stick. So I think this is a contour highlight stick. Sure enough, it is. Ooh, I like that. It's a cool tone. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That is light enough for me. All right, we're on to the second bag. This one kind of looks like just a lot of different tools that I got. So we'll open this up and see. You guys are gonna roast me for this, but I bought a bunch of these little nose thingies because I was thinking about maybe doing a video trying them and seeing if they actually make any change. I just couldn't, I don't know if these would do anything. It's really hard for me because obviously there's pieces in your nose that is bone and then there's also pieces that are more rubbery. So I don't know if they could do anything, but <laughs> here's another one. I got this flower face roller up and I've seen these and it says it smiles naturally when there is a flower. It is, wait, what? They don't only have directions, but they have pictures. So I'll follow the pictures. Oh my gosh. It actually feels like really nice. Oh my word. What does this promote? I'm sure someone who's watching this knows what this does. So can you let me know? Because it feels good. And if it's good for me, I'll do it more. Okay, should we try one of these nose things? I mean, may as well, right? All right, I'm gonna try this one. It's supposed to align my nose better. By the way, you guys, I'm not serious about the whole nose thing. I, I like my nose. I have my dad's nose. I have nothing wrong with my nose. I just think these are kind of interesting and I'd like to see what they're all about. I'm not gonna go and use them every single day. Don't worry. Right there is where it's supposed to be. It has a diagram on it. <laughs> uh, can someone let me know if they think this would actually do something? And if you guys want to see a video of me trying these, I will for sure do that. But if you don't, then I won't, okay? Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, I was being dramatic. That took off a lot of my makeup. Okay, next 
package. What is in here? All right, so we have another set of eyelashes. Oh my goodness, this one looks really pretty. I wish there wasn't these stickers right on here. I really like how these ones look. I swear this video is gonna be like an hour long. I'm so sorry. Okay, and then this is, oh yay! Okay, these are like these little Velcros that I got. I've seen a lot of people use them. They're supposed to be really helpful. Oh, yes. <laughs> like why didn't, why did it take so long for these to be created? This is a good invention. I got a few face masks. So this is the aloe collagen mask. I got this because it said it was good for redness and hydration. So here is that. In my video, I will do a face mask before I do my makeup. So whichever one you guys want. This is the green tea milk. Is this not adorable pack packaging? They had many different types of this, but I got the one for redness once again. My redness is actually toning down a little bit and I don't really know what I'm doing right. But uh, I've been taking better care. So uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the snail nourishing to make rough skin smooth. Oh, I got a snail mask. I don't know about snail masks. Comment down below which one you want me to use. Okay, this is a nose up highlighter. What does that mean? That's cool. This got this cute little sponge on the end. So obviously it's a highlighter. Ooh, it's a pretty white, whitish pink highlight. And it must be for booping on your nose, which I love because I boop my nose a lot, if you guys haven't noticed. That's a cool idea. See, I've never seen something like that. A nose highlighter. So here is a volume up curl fix coating fix. This is a doctor mascara fixer. Okay, so what is this? Oh, so this is a clear mascara. I'm pretty sure I got this to do a 30 day trial because it's supposed to help grow your lashes. So I'm just going to put that to the side. You guys will see that in the future. Oh wait, no, I'm lying. This is the growing one. This is the serum that I'm testing. Wait a second, so what is that one? Now I'm confused. This actually is the serum that I wanna test for 30 days. It's supposed to make your eyelashes grow. I think these are actually all eyebrow pencils. I got three eyebrow pencils. I'm gonna be set for eyebrow pencils for a long time. Okay, this is a two-tone matte lip bar. Ooh, it's got a holographic top. Anybody want to say that's fake hollow? Open it up. And here is what it looks like. Oh, that is so cool. Two tones. What is this? It's a bigger box. The History of Faux. And it says Hydrating Balancer, Hydrating Overnight Mask, and Hydrating Emulsion. So it's some sort of mask set. I'm shading palette. Okay, so I'm guessing it's a shading palette. Ooh, okay, so it says dark brown, sand beige, and skin gold. Here we go. Okay, this is a cover perfection tip concealer, and this concealer looks really pale and kind of pink. So it must be a corrector of some sort. Yeah, it's really pink. Wow, it's really pigmented. It's really pink minted. When I saw this on the website, I instantly thought of the Stila shimmers. Let's see. Oh yeah. That is the exact same as the Stila shimmers. 100%. All right, last thing in that bag is this mascara. Such cute packaging. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, a nice wand. It's like a curved one. Not too big and bulky, which I like. But we're on to the last box. Oh my goodness, okay, wait, what? I don't, oh, okay. I do actually remember these. These looked like a dupe for the Huda eyelashes and it's there in the style of Giselle. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look at those lashes. Those are sickening, oh my gosh. Wow, those feel so nice. <gasps> Whoa. Oh wait, I have another Huda one. Oh, in Giselle, I got two of them. I guess I was like almost, wait a second, these are different. So they both say Giselle on the outside of the packaging, but then these ones are different. These ones are like so nice. What? Here is what these ones look like. They look super fluttery. They remind me of the uh, Malibu lashes. I'm excited about those. Okay, I have another set of eyelashes. They are the, it's a three piece set. They are, okay, 
and here is what they look like. More eyelashes. What else is in here? It's this water drop tinted foundation. This looks really exciting. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't freaking wait to play with all this makeup, you guys. I'm crying. What is this? This is a Tude House Wonder Fun Park Color Eyes. So I think it's an eyeshadow palette. That looks so, so cool. Here is this eyeshadow palette. So cute, let's swatch. Oh wow, really, really soft. Oh my goodness. I've found myself in a lot of nice eyeshadows lately. Here are some Senior eyelashes. Oh my goodness. These are so stunning. Ow, I just broke the box. I just broke the box. I actually don't think I've ever had eyelashes that look this good. Shook up. Here is these eyelashes. They're super wispy. Last product. Okay, let's see what this is. This is, actually doesn't say, face primer. That's not really something fun to end off on, but <laughs> I didn't choose this. But it looks like it's a spray. It smells so good. Well, there's that. Oh my goodness. I am so excited for the full face video. Comment down below, I've said this eight times throughout this video, but comment down below if there's anything you really wanna see. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I hope it was fun to have a first look at this makeup with me because like I said, I have not seen any of it. I waited for this video to unbox it, which was difficult. I had to maintain self-control. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,